how to invest in and around all of this. Joining us now is Sandy Villery, co-portfolio manager of the Villery Balance Fund, and Jason Brady, president and CEO of Thornburg Investment Management. Sandy, first to you, you got to be loving this time from a, from a fund manager's perspective because what we're learning is small caps, your space, are doing well, and it's kind of become a stock picker's market again. You and I have talked about this company Pool, guess what? They're in the pool business. You loved them years ago. You still love them. How come? Yeah, so um, it, it, it really is a stock picker's market, which has been just um, a nice, to, nice turn of events for us over the last couple of years. And so a company like Pool it did quite well through the uh, stay-at-home uh, you know, period. And I would say that even today, you look at their sales, two-thirds are you know, just refurbishment and, and maintenance of your swimming pool. So it's not unlike a utility or a telecom you're not going to fill your pool in. You're going to continue to treat it with chemicals. And these guys, while it's boring, they just continue to do well and put up good numbers. And every time a new pool is put in, and there's going to be 90,000 this year probably, you got to repair um, wow. and, and refurbish that pool every seven to 10 years. I mean, that, so that, we, that's we like the one lot. thing. You could not get a pool, a person to put in a pool. Everybody that we talked to, the Visa CEO, everybody who could was saying, okay, I'm going to make my home as good as possible. It's a three- or four-year backlog in certain areas to get pools. Jason Brady, we talk a lot about the U.S., as we should. We're based here. But we are a global financial network. And you believe, while the U.S. looks good, there might be some better opportunities in emerging markets around the world. Specifically, where are you looking? Sure. So I think one key in investing in emerging markets is really to maintain, maintain balance what we don't want to get into is we're going to you know, be all in on growth, we're all in on value, not just in emerging markets, but anywhere. We take a couple of names that actually have aspects of both. One, Taiwan Semiconductor, obviously participating in some of the growth, uh, growth in, in technology, being part of all of our lives, really a dominant producer, but a bit of a cyclical name over time. On the flip side, something you would think of as very cyclical, which would be Azul, a Brazilian airline. But it's actually a quality business, mm. about 70% of the routes that they only fly. So two names that look really different actually have aspects of both growth and value, and together in a portfolio can be really interesting. Yeah, Latin America, Azul, we're watching that. One more to you, Jason. A lot of people talk about the, the ex-China-Asia trade, the Vietnam's, the world supply chains movement. Are you a buyer of that? Look, I think China is still a, a dominant player in, in the global economy and in the global supply chain. But there's no doubt that companies are diversifying that supply chain. And China is so large, even small percentages moving away from that supply chain, not just to, to Asia and other places in Asia, but also to places like Latin America, can be really valuable. So yes, it's, it's a definitely a theme. It's really all part of uh, distributed global growth. And then, Sandy, back to you. Caesars Entertainment, okay, the casino company. I, but you, you've owned it for a while. The stock has soared. The sort of the get out and travel trade that we've talked about has, has done well. Are you looking to trim a little bit with this huge gain in the name? Or do you believe that even at these prices and this gain, that there's more room to run in CZR? Yeah, I, I think this could be a triple-digit stock, and, and this is one we want to be involved in some of the, uh, you know, open up the economy type of names, and these guys can control expenses so well that, you know, even at, at, at you know, occupancy levels that may not be, you know, completely full, um, their their profitability and margins are just expanding. So I love Tom Reeg as a, as a manager. He's done a great job historically, and uh, and then their acquisition of William Hill, $3.5 billion dollars. Um, this is going to be one where they can get into the online gaming uh, aspect of things. And as municipalities struggle, uh, you know, and look to legalize gaming, uh, that's just going to be another another tail. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, you know, just another um, tailwind for them. So I, I think it's going to look pretty good. And I'd, I'd, uh, I think it's a triple digit stock. Wow. Triple digit stock on Caesars. You like pool. Jason likes Azul and some of these other emerging markets. Great discussion, guys. Right to the point. Sandy Villery, Jason Brady. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.